Hey guys, I'm Lucy and welcome back to the channel. And today we have something completely different in store for you guys. We have a special guest. We're going to call him the interviewer. It's an old friend of mine and he's done work in editing. He's done work in production and publication. And he's going to be asking a few questions here, just general about gaming. And keep in mind, guys, that this is a parted series, so there is a lot more questions. So let me know. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think and if you enjoy this and if you want to see more content like this. So let's just jump right in. Okay, what would you say in your experience of gaming was one of the most exploitable glitches and or mechanics in a game? And what were some of the unintended consequences of that? Diablo 3, uh, when it came out, they, uh, wow, I don't know who, who in the fuck thought that this was going to be a good idea. But they were like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to, we're going to attach the auction house, which is, the auction houses in games are like, say, I'm farming, right? I'm doing some solo content, or maybe I'm with a few friends. And some stuff drops, like a really good item, but I got better. But it's still really good. Well, in some cases, you can sell that to other players. And the auction houses, or trade posts, normally it's called an auction house, or an AH for short, in most games, is where you can sell things to other, to other players. And Blizzard Activision was like, you know what? We're not only are you going to be able to buy stuff and sell stuff on the auction house like normal with you know the currency that you get inside the game, but fuck it, man. If you want to spend like 99 cents to actually buy this piece of gear, you can do that. So, within the first dude, maybe three or four days, there was already like a shitstorm happening of what was going on was people were you know power running through the game and playing the shit out of it. And what they were doing in a turn was, I'm going to bring this a little closer to myself. And what they were doing in turn was, is they were selling things, you know, for 99 cents, a dollar, two dollars here and there, whatever. Well, Blizzard obviously didn't, I don't know who the fuck, again, I don't know who thought this was going to be a good idea. But it's like real money trading, RMT, that acronym, you might have heard it before. Real money trading is a thing. I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar a year industry, you know, just in itself. Trading, you know, real money for in-game currencies or whatever across video games in general not just the mmos and they were like well we're going to cut out the rmts maybe that was their idea process behind it right so what and it ended up getting so crazy because people were literally making tens of thousands of dollars by selling this they were quitting their jobs and shit and making thousands of dollars a day by only playing the game for a few hours you know and selling some items and because People are so lazy, especially North American players. They're like, yeah, we'll pay 99 cents for that. You know, $5 for this, $5 for that, whatever, whatever. And when you when the drop rates were so huge, it just it ruined the entire economy of the game. Because it was like, well, if you can either buy it with 100 gold from in-game currency, or you can spend a dollar and seven cents, well, most people were opting for the dollar and seven cents. So it was like taking away from Blizzard and the, the cash shop and, of course, extra cosmetics and all their digital deluxe packages and shit. So within, I'd have to look back, but I want to say it was less than seven days and they shut it down. They shut the game down on the console versions, the PC versions, everything. And they removed that entire system from the auction house. I'm like, God damn. Bro. Wow. Yeah. And that's one of the most recent ones that I can remember. And how recent was that? Um, that would have been, like I said, right at Diablo 3's launch. So let's look. Uh, that was in 2012. Wow. Man. Yeah. That was like its own like, it's almost, stock. It's almost like 10 years ago. But that goes to show you. Um, it takes a lot to shut a game down, but definitely one of them is messing with their money. Yeah, well, messing with the money is usually the number one way to, to, to get it to shut down, for sure. Yeah, and I mean, there's other, you know, instances. That's just the first one that I thought of, because I thought it was hilarious. Cause it I, is hilarious? Yeah, I mean, I, I played it's... the game, you know, when it launched. We're like, uh, really? There, You can, <laughs> the auction house has, what? And then there, you're not getting any money for it? The person, it, like, you're directly trading with the other person. Like, there's no, like, say it was a dollar. 
you're giving the whole dollar to me and blizzard's forking the cost of that transaction right, right. <laughs> and they're getting nothing of it yeah and you're doing it off of their game <laughs> it's like being given a free job could you imagine that yeah so well, it's crazy it's like yeah it's Dude, you can win full time with that for a few days. Oh yeah, and some people were able to make tens of thousands of dollars in the few days that it happened. That's great. That is definitely, I think, the best answer to that question. I wasn't even thinking that far in terms of real money and profitability of people who, yeah, well, who were just like I said, man. I've been following some of these companies for a long time, bro, and they've done some some extremely stupid things. Very shady yeah. stuff too. But uh, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good question. The experience was different then without those tutorials and those guides. And I think Absolutely. even if at that time when it was so new, even if those kinds of things were available, if YouTube was around and there were guides and tutorials, I think in the beginning, the gamer, the average gamer then wouldn't have even been interested in somebody else's journey you know like they would have wanted to i think at least for the most part experience it themselves yeah, well, without let, little... let me tell you a story and maybe this will answer that that question and this was just uh yesterday uh it was me and a few guys in, in discord from one of the guilds and we were talking about uh new raid bosses that were coming out and they were linking a written guide that someone's got, you know, you'd have to read it um, for one of the bosses. And I'm like, I, yeah, I don't care. I, 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 yeah. I, I'm not looking at it. Like, I, we're going to wipe on this bitch 30 times if we have to <laughs> until we all figure this out. And the, one of the older guys was like, he agreed. Yeah. And then instantly one of the younger guys was like, no, I don't want to wipe at all. I'm like, see, that's the difference. You know, right. that, yeah. that's the difference right there. You know, you don't want to explore. You don't want to find out. You want to know everything already. It's like, well, well, at some point, you got to ask yourself, well, why am I playing? If I know everything, I can do everything. Well, fuck, I mean, it kind of sounds like you developed a game then, you know? Like, most devs don't play their own games, <laughs> you know? So why break the mold? And I'm being funny there when I say that, but I, I think that's the difference right there. You know, you have two types of gamers. You know, you have some people that just want to win, no matter really what is going on and then you have some people that actually want to play and yeah. i think playing and winning have become two separate two separate mechanics and i think game companies have caught on to that quite quite a long time ago um that's why free to play has become such a, a hell it's the most popular type of game uh is free to play games there's, there's no denying that. And it's also free-to-play games are also, and this is completely proven, you can go anywhere and find these statistics, that they, they are the most profitable games. You're going to spend the most money that you would playing a free-to-play game instead of just, say, a $15 subscription, you know, or maybe a, a, a $60 box price and then you never pay another price until two years later another 60 bucks for an expansion, you know, something of that nature. Whereas they're like, no, come in, it's free to play, and we're going to lure you in with all this other shit, and you're going to drop in hundreds and thousands of dollars a month, you know? Tens of thousands of dollars in some cases. Hundreds yeah, of thousands, like... millions of dollars in some extreme cases. Yeah, the free games are the ones you end up, you, you keep on buying them over and over again. Well, no, it's because they've, they've realized that we can make things, we can actually, we know how to make a good game, but we're not going to. We're going to make a bad game with good mechanics in it in the cash shop. You can avoid all the bad mechanics that we purposely put in here to make your experience miserable if you just give us a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. and, and it's, and it's, dude, it works like a charm. It, it, it's been working. It hasn't stopped working yet. Since they've started doing that, it hasn't stopped. And it's only going uphill. The actual question was. How would you describe the evolution of the average gamer over the past 15 years? Hmm. And you pretty much answered that. It's like the gratification now is about you just want to go into it winning rather than the gratification coming from playing the game. Yeah, the gratification from not knowing what to do first 
And I think mm -hmm. that's I think that is where it all stems from. Is that a lot of people and I suffer from this, I think all gamers do, is that no one wants to admit that they don't know um, you know, something. Especially in a game that you've been playing for a while. Um and the problem with that is is that you don't know everything. Like you never will. There's some mechanics that are built in that developers will never tell anybody about. Like it's even even if you're on the, the team behind the scenes working on the game, there's still some mechanics that are extremely hush hush that you you, you won't you only a few certain people even in Jiro have access to to even see what these these things may be. Uh, you know, because they really want some, some places do want to keep some things secret. I, I think what you said is, is kind of right. You know, the instant gratification and not wanting to learn. You know, I think I've told you this before, but like the, the, this new generation is like, you're either God or you're shit, you know? So they'll do as much as they can to avoid, you know, even like, uh, it's crazy, man. I could tell you stories about recent story. A guy just left the guild a few days ago some people in the guild were trying to give him some some advice hey man the reason you're not doing the dps or damage per second that you should be doing is because you don't have these these few pieces of gear enchanted correctly or don't even have him on yet they're just there's no enchantments at all and you sitting up here and constantly fighting back and forth with everybody in the in 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 the channel in the chat channel when everyone's trying to help you out and you're just literally pushing back at everything and we're telling you a very simple instant way to go fix it like you just go to the vendor and buy it and then it takes two seconds to actually equip it like it's an animation and boom it's done you know it's just an accessory you put on your piece of gear it's not like we're telling you to go run 10 dungeons uh press w 13 times put in a secret code and then stink stick your finger in your ass that's not what we're asking you to do like we're literally asking you to take 30 seconds to go to the vendor and buy this thing that you can get we know you can get it if you don't have the money we'll give it to you and that's gonna that's gonna help you out tremendously and you just keep going on and on and on and on. It's like instead of just trying something out, what people are saying, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. You know, that's not what, what I was doing before. Well, what you were doing before wasn't working, you know. So obviously you're not a god. We're not saying. But that's the only way people take it now. When you tell somebody that, hey, man, that's not the right way, they're like, oh, go fuck yourself. You know, you know, and, and somehow they get offended by that. And it makes that part of the community toxic to them, even though they're the toxic aspect. Right. And and then that'll be the first person that'll run back and leave a nasty comment on a video. You know? Right. 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 Yeah. No, I've, I've seen that in, 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 oh, in it, that kind of yeah, thing. It goes beyond, it goes beyond the, the MMO the world. I mean, if you've played any game online recently, you know, Red Dead Redemption, guess, Call of Duty, anything, yeah. you, you've seen it, you, you know, you've, you've, you've heard it at least. I mean, you, you can't see it sometimes, but it's you can definitely hear it from the other people playing the game, you know? But yeah, even outside of games in general, I think, like, there's, like, there's this kind of mentality now that it's, like, even if you're trying to to help me, I might see that as you think you're better than me and I don't need your help and yeah. screw you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or they think it's like an attack on your, on, on your manhood or your, your, your intelligence or something. And it's got nothing to do with that. You know, I mean, in some cases, yeah, obviously some people are just being, you know, obtrusive, but most of the time, you know, especially like the the story I just told you, it's like, I mean, I, I didn't get involved in it because I don't get involved in shit like that anymore in games. Like, if someone doesn't listen to it, I don't, don't fucking think I'm going to try to talk to him or tell him anything. You know, so I, I wasn't involved with it at all, but I just was watching what was going on. And like, everyone was trying to help you. No one was being rude except yeah. you. You know, yeah, you just weren't... You just, and it, we weren't saying that you, it's not like you were doing horrible damage. It's just not where it should be. And we were trying to help you figure out why. And you were also asking for help. Why? And then yeah. everyone tells you and you, everything you're saying, we're all wrong. You know? And it's like, oh, well, I'll tell you what, man, you can go fuck yourself. How's that? Yeah. And, and wouldn't you say those kind of interactions have been more and more common like you didn't have that as much back in the day no because back in the day you 
everyone was just as clueless. You know, right. so th you couldn't uh, you couldn't even have the thought of, oh, maybe someone will make fun of me if I ask a question like, oh, you don't know this boss fight. Ha 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 scrub like, dude, not <laughs> everybody knows the fucking boss fight. But that's the problem is that what I just that thought process. Ha ha. You don't know this. Go fuck yourself. That is the that is now the consensus in the gaming industry as a whole, not just in yeah, MMO. Even, even, for, even for new games, where, like, you would be totally excused for not knowing everything yet. Yep. Oh, the, the game I'm playing right now, Swords of Legend Online. It's only been out for a month now, and there's already people, you know, that the raid just came out two days ago, and people are already in chat, like, oh, you don't know what to do, this and that, blah, blah. I'm like, it's, mm. this, all this shit is brand fucking you, you know? And it's because of, obviously, now... There is guides in this game and stuff, but they're all in Chinese and they're all outdated because our game version is three years behind and there's not any, a lot of, in, at all English content on this game at all because it's brand new. And everyone's just like, well, I want to know everything and I want to win. And we got some people like a, a dungeon earlier, I, some guy just left it, like because the tank wasn't pulling the entire room up to the boss like oh he's not pulling everything and the boss at the same time fuck this group i'm out of here and it only took us like six minutes to finish the whole dungeon and by him leaving he had to wait 15 minutes before he could go back in so people would honestly instead of doing something quick and 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 or, or you know, relatively effectively and and not the quickest but very effectively and 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 get everything done in eight minutes time they would rather leave after two minutes so that's two minutes they've already put on the time clock and then add another 15 on top of that so they would to them instead of just pulling straight to the boss and attacking 60 mobs when they're not guess what they're not healing okay and they're not the tank they they're the dps that can do fucking nothing you're absolutely useless as a single player in this dungeon you're gonna die instantly you can't kill anyone you can't take a fucking hit from a mob but for some strange reason you feel like i need to hold w until i just run into a fucking brick wall somewhere and pull everything along with it and leave everything on the other people like the healers in almost every case the healer is the one that's going to get the shit storm from you deciding to pull the entire fucking dungeon and then we wipe and then we add more time onto the time clock and then it's just like, and instead of fighting three extra mobs that are going to take us 20 seconds to kill, you'd rather skip those three extra mobs, wipe on the last boss, and then spend seven minutes getting everyone back to the boss because of those three mobs that we left. Mm -hmm. And that's just, that's the state of games right now. That's the state of the players. It's the state of the players. The, the, it, even Sword of Legends Online, the game I'm playing now, they've tried to stop that by giving a percentage bar of how many mobs need to be killed before you can complete this dungeon. And every single fucking group I'm in, we always have to go back and kill more mobs after the last boss and waste even more time because we didn't even kill enough. Because everyone just wanted to skip and go to the fucking boss. And it's, it's mind-blowing. It's absolutely mind-blowing where the state of the the mindset of the 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 average gamer is now the average gamer almost doesn't even want to play the games all right guys so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it please leave your thoughts or any comments down below in the comment section i want to continue to thank you guys um, thank you guys for your continuing support on the channel and don't forget that this is a multi-part series um, it's not just these kind of, I guess you could say, two questions. Um, anyway, until then, we'll see y'all next time.